What is up YouTube, Frost the Hobbit in here, and today we're going to look at a new death battle that just came out, and it is Ultron vs. Sigma. I have been a fan of Ultron from the Marvel comics, and Sigma from the Mega Man X series. We all know their history. If you do not, then you need to check play their games and to read the comic books. I'll leave and to see the other and see the video before me reacting to this, I'll leave a link in the description down below to check out the original video, then come back and see my reaction to it. I'm not sure who's gonna win this, but my money's on Ultron, because I knew more in the comics. So let's further ado, let's get this started react. Let's get this video started, shall we? In three, two, one, go. And me, a DNA testing service that can offer insight into your ancestry, health, wellness, and traits. The 23andMe Health and Ancestry Service includes reports on how your DNA can influence your weight, sleep quality, sense of taste, and more. It's right. super easy to do. You just spit into the tube and mail it back to their lab to be analyzed. I learned a lot about my family tree and that I'm probably a little lactose intolerant. Order All your right. 23andMe Health and Ancestry Fun Service fact. kit um, When I was recording this for the first time, it started battle. lagging That's the number and did not work well. So so this is basically my second time recording it. I only got through halfway there. Humans fear what they don't understand. True. Especially when it comes to the infinite potential of artificial intelligence. Oh yeah. Like Ultron, Marvel's mechanical mass murderer. And Sigma, the general of genocide from Mega Man X. He's with oh, wow, they killed the animation. Stick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. I was halfway through the um introduction Hank of Hank Pym was a founding member of, of Sigma. the Avengers, the creator well, of not Sigma's bio. Articles, and designated yeah. scientist supreme by eternity. He was also the quote unquote father of one of the greatest mass murderers in the universe. Sadly true. Guess which one he's most remembered for? Yeah. Eager to push the boundaries of science, Hank constructed an artificial intelligence which could learn and evolve on its own, modeling it on his own brain patterns. Just that didn't work problem. out well. At the time, Hank was pretty effed up and just a few years from going full on Looney Tunes. Oh, yeah. Maybe not the best time to base an AI off your mind, but still, Hank's project was a success. Ultron had been born. Yeah. Your destruction is inevitable. That's one of my favorite voice voices for Ultron. Created Ultron. In the movies, sure, but it was Hank in the primary source material. That is true. Well, he Hank really Pym is the real the person who made it. Ultron, super smart brain of they didn't, they didn't have the rights to Hank Pym back then yet. skipping over the innocent kid phase and straight to screw you, Dad, you'll never understand. Oh, oh, wow. I bet you know a lot about that. Screw you, Wiz, you'll never understand. Because Ultron's Do you need a hug, Ultron? Do you need a hug, Boomstick? Polar one, he inherited his creator's issues and magnified them into absurdity. With oh, a yeah. new thirst for power, coupled That's with a severe good. inferiority complex, Ultron escaped the lab, bent on destroying his father, the Avengers, and basically all organic life. Pretty much, and yeah. He really hates organic life. The trash can of a body into a sleek new adamantium one. The same kind of metal used for Wolverine's skeleton chrome job. But you may be wondering, how's he gonna walk around if his entire body is made of adamantium? That is a Even good question. Thor has a hard time bending that stuff. And he could friggin' destroy planets! Ultron thought of that and created an answer. His molecular rearranger allows him to mold also, that's his how it body works. That's and interesting. Blades. He can manipulate his adamant himself to move around or transform into blades, spikes, and explosions, apparently. Specifically, that's, he can expend his body through that's a thing. force. The molecular rearranger is also a handy repair tool on the off chance he is damaged. He's also got a power segment to absorb energy, jet boosters for flight. You don't see much of that in future and a cartoons. Reactor power in the whole package. And if you're a death robot who's about to challenge all the Avengers to a fight all at once, which Ultron did, you're gonna need more than just some fancy doodads to pull it off. He possesses super strength and super. When it comes speed, to Ultron, the Avengers fight. They immediately the Avengers. An is an the heroes immediately wants to kill them. Charge. And this charge kill him. Is when it loses Literally kill Ultron immediately. Uh, enough nerd speak, Wiz. It's just there because all robo people need to shoot awesome robo lasers. Right? Absolutely. It, was that a Ultron mega buster? Ultron can fire beams of ionic energy from his eyes, mouth, and hands, and can even use it to create force fields. He also wields an encephalo ray, which allows him to read and control minds, erase memories, and even put you into a coma with a single hit. I see. Uh, syphilis ray, huh? That's gotta be hard to get rid of. Too true. 
Also, Ultron's artificial intelligence isn't bound to any one physical body. Should right. he be destroyed, he can transfer his consciousness into another machine to survive. And boy, does he have a lot of drones on hand just for that. Like the giant Ultron 7 or the Christmas theme That's Santa thing, Tron. Yes. And who could forget Ultron 15? <laughs> the alcoholic one. Oh, yeah. Part robot, all fun. While most Vision of killed that are relatively one. Fragile really wants to kill all of shell, Ultron. Ultron has a veritable army on his hands, all of which are extensions of his will that he commands in simultaneously. The comics, he's he's, he's fused the with whole Hank world Pym. with these guys in two different future timelines. He's humiliated heavy hitters like Iron Man, Wonder Man, and Thor, flown across the entire galaxy just for fun, and tanked hits from Mjolnir like they were nothing. Plus, he's hella smart. I mean, Hank is scientist supreme, right? And Ultron was designed to grow smarter than him, so that must make him scientist ultra supreme that is with expertise. He even oh, expertise. assimilated wow. a techno-organic race known as the Phalanx, and then used them to conquer the entire Avengers of Empire. Empire. This Empire's Heroes of Tomorrow, where the Avengers' the children a real they had to fight Ultron because in their Milky universe, Way. Ultron killed all the heroes and only left with their children. Light years. And Ultron conquered all of them in just a couple hours. Damn, Damn that's some dedication. I can't even he controls an entire universe. Almost an entire, uni almost an with entire all universe. Almost an entire universe. With power and intelligence, Ultron was able to defeat the time-traveling warlord Kang, who pulled an army of superheroes across time to fight for him. Kang lost so many times that the universe started to collapse from how many people he was time hopping to fight Ultron. Man, Dang. is there anything that can stop this? Kang robot? is his. Well, Kang needs to be in the MCU. Internal circuit. That'd be interesting. His adamantium is vulnerable to anti-metal, and he is frequently defeated by computer viruses that can attack his AI directly. I he see. also never really got over the crazy he inherited from Hank. He once self-destructed in utter disbelief after reading the phrase "Thou shalt not kill." Yeah, oh, he's so wow. happy that just the thought of not killing people drove him to suicide. Yeah, guys got problems. No kidding, he wants to turn Hank's wife into a robot bride for himself. Hey, pretty mama. Let's <laughs> with Hank for a cross-galaxy A Johnny Bravo reference. Slaughtering billions just for fun. Whoa, wait, what was that bit about sex botting his mom? There aren't enough Pym particles in the world to shrink Ultron's Oh yeah, he was a female honest, body. That's probably what makes him so incredibly deadly. Yes. But like the man said, what doesn't kill me just makes me stronger. I like the Ultron for the MCU. I don't know why people hate that. In the year 21... <laughs> it was, it was humanity oh, you can say 21XX? Technology, all thanks to the discovery and replication of a certain blue android that could think and feel like a human. Mega These Man X. replicated androids, or reploids... The Archie comics was on par with the Mega society. Man series. Wow, that sounds amazing. Like it could have no it's possible differences. negative repercussions at all. Unfortunately, there it is. <laughs> of crime involving yep. reploids begin I hate Vile, but I like him at the same time. A good villain. Turning these reploids into violent mavericks. But he pulls some douchebag moments. So, Dr. Kane, the guy that started this reploid shindig in the first place, hey, created Kane. a robot so badass that it could hunt mavericks without getting infected himself. This reploid was named Sigma. Sigma, back when he was a good guy. Commander Sigma led the newly formed Maverick Hunters like an elite police force. Under his Looks like a skills, forbidden love of child of Buzz Lightyear and Zerg. Zero. Things were that is hilarious. Great. Well, until they found a mysterious red Maverick in an abandoned laboratory who started eating Maverick Hunter ass for breakfast. Oh, wait, that, that didn't come out right. Sigma fought the fight yeah, of his that life. Didn't. And though he technically won, his victory was far more pyrrhic than he or the rest of the world could ever have imagined. Really? So this red guy was called Zero, and turns out the thing infecting reploids and turning them into mavericks was a virus leaking from Zero's stasis pod. It also didn't sound right. Wily's a virus. A final gift from that dastardly Dr. Wily. Oh dear god, that thing is hard on a hangover. So we blame Dr. Wily for that Sigma virus, for that, for the Sigma virus being created by the, by his Wily virus. Wily put the... Wily put the Wily virus inside of Zero, and go just to get, just to get over the, just become over the top evil and go on a rampage, to ruin Doctor Light. So we blame. So it's kind of Wily's fault. Sigma is evil because he really wanted to kill the original Mega Man. Is basically what Zero is created for to kill the original Mega Man, and he can. Zero can kill him.
Fortunately, Sigma was designed to fight off such a virus. Unfortunately, this actually just made things worse. Yes. Instead of bending Sigma to its violent will, the virus merged with his programming, becoming one with his body and mind. Together, they both became stronger than before, with a whole new outlook on the world. Sigma began to look at humankind as detrimental to reploid evolution, holding yeah. back their full potential. Yeah, yeah, the big strong metal people hate the dumb flesh bags, blah, blah. I hear it from you every time at the bar, Wiz. I... When was the last time I went to a bar? What? You don't remember? Um, no. Mission accomplished. Oh, Sigma wow. Sigma gathered an army of mavericks, and when the time was right, his invasion began. But to pull it off, he needed some bitchin' robo-weapons. Sigma's favorite is his totally not copyrighted beam sword. But he also likes tearing through bots with his flying beam hammer, sword. beam scythe, and the I'm not compensating for anything oh, size wow. Sigma blade. He also he didn't has have to say it like that. Flamethrower and a giant energy cannon. For extra defense, he has a shield that can be tossed around the room like a boomerang. Like Captain hey, America. Look, he's like a robo Wolverine. Only the metal's on the outside. Well, and, and inside. With all these weapons and an army at his back, Sigma's operation was nearly successful. However, yeah. he was halted by the original android Dr. Kane found all those years ago. Mega Man X. Yep. But Sigma just kept coming back. Mega Man X over always be the one to kill to destroy him. And... Wait a minute. Is that a new villain? Oh, never mind. He's just being controlled by Sigma. How the hell does he keep coming back? How many lives does this guy have? Well, Sigma's body is just a shell. The true essence of Sigma lies in the merged and sentient Sigma virus. This virus can infect that other is robotic true. bodies, turning other reploids mad. Right, check or out even the um, transferring his consciousness. He's even built Mega Man, enormous Mega Man, this. These Sonic and Mega Man crossover, worlds, worlds unite. Fly, around, it has Mega Man, Sonic, and Mega Man X, fields, and all the Capcom and Sega characters go up against Sigma. Oh, that's rough, buddy. I've been there. Also, each of Sigma's Mavericks possess their own abilities that are... Hey, hey, look, Wiz! They're all animals! That one's a penguin, and that's an octopus, and yep, that, that one's a Kawanger! Yeah, Kawangers are... Uh, what the fuck is a Kawanger? An it's insect. just a messed up romanization of Kawagata, the Japanese word for stag beetle. Yeah, I guess Kawanger sounds more badass. With these right. forces, Sigma waged war with humanity for many, many years. He's battled top-tier Maverick Hunters like X, Axel, and even that Zero guy. Wait, what's Guns N' Roses doing here? Zero once survived an impact that broke apart the Eurasia space colony, which, when its pieces landed on Earth, created an explosion equal to at least 100 teratons of TNT. And Sigma that moment with the um, satellite Zero explosion by Zero changed yeah. the fate but of the Sigma's Mega Man X series. X, it would lead to the Mega Man X Zero universe timeline or Mega Sonic Man Godzilla. Legends and timeline. And Sigma's bodies could tank attacks from both X so and now you Zero know. without much issue. That's impressive considering X fought the General, whose body was tough enough to block a laser capable of destroying the Earth. That's the minimum insane. amount of energy necessary to destroy a planet is known as its gravitational binding energy which, in the case of Earth, is equivalent to a little over 63 sextillion tons of TNT. That's 22 zeros! The, the number, not the robot. Plus, he's fast enough to keep That's up insane. with zero! Actual the general is, over, is very strong. Optic sunflowers beam of sunlight. Actually, Sigma's likely even faster. Recall that reploids like X, Zero, and Sigma were designed to be superior in every way to classic era robots like Mega Man. Yes, That's they are. Mega Man fought Duo, a space robot capable of I'm glad they used the Saturn Mega Man, the Mega Man model seconds. render from Mega Man 11. I wonder how powerful Mega program. Man is with but the um, gear the sim system. Center, and I bet Base is probably so very angry that Mega Man has the gear system and, and Base does not. Is doomed to be a nightmare. The time has come to prove your mettle against me. This Am I not wrong? <laughs> yeah. By the way, am I not wrong? Isn't Base gonna be a bit upset that Mega Man has the gear system? And because that makes the gear system makes Mega Man a lot strong and powerful. And Base doesn't have it. Because he'd probably be ticked off because Base is obsessed of killing Mega Man. All right, the combatants are and people set. like to overpower Let's Base. Once and for all. Saying but that first, he's saying that base is stronger than Mega Man X and Zero and all that crap. By now, in fan fiction, a lot. Blue Apron, the leading Just because of his edgy design. In the US. 
But did you know about all the different kinds of delicious foods you can make? Like the honey chipotle glazed chicken with poblano and lime rice. There's plenty to choose from, since they offer 12 new recipes each week. All, right. all you have to do is choose the two, three, or four that sound best to you, and they deliver it right to your door. Plus, it's super simple to cook. It's got easy to follow instructions and perfectly proportioned ingredients. They're non-GMO, and the meat has no added hormones. My favorite part is feeling like a master chef, making creative and delicious meals with my own hands. You guys really need to try it out. It's I might. pretty nice coming home knowing I'll have a delicious meal I can whip up with ease. So check out this week's menu and get your first three meals free at blueapron.com slash battle. That's blueapron.com slash battle to get your first three meals free. But right now, it's time for a death battle! Pause. Oh yeah, fun fact. About the um other death battle, the 100 episode Mario vs. Sonic. It was a feat they forgot that um Sonic has fought Emerald in Sonic Battle. At the end of it, Emerald had copied all of Sonic's friend Sonic and his friends abilities their speed strength power and attacks all merge into one with the seven chaos remotes installed and Sonic beating it in less than a minute so that shows that Sonic is very is very powerful that's somewhere near levels to Archie Sonic when it comes to power and strength and Sonic beating it less than a minute so yeah, now you know. They forgot about that feat. And many fans, probably because people didn't know about that feat because they don't play Sonic Battle. I have. And 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 yeah. Back to the battle. So now you know. Oh, wow. Well, Vile is being a douchebag. And he paid for it. Unconditional surrender now. Oh, wow. At the risk of sounding cliche. Here comes Sigma. Nice animation. You and what army? <laughs> you just had to. Let's get this started. All right, let's see how Sigma can hold his own. Take this battle to the skies. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, wow. He is toying with you. Wow. Sigma Ultron cracking jokes. Nice. You don't look so good, Sigma. No way is a delusion. You're all just puppets on streets. Really? An NCU reference. It's not over yet. Oh wow, that is a big robot. To be extinguished. What gall. Lucky for me, I'm my own best backup. Oh yeah. That's a big robot. Battle of the Epic B Giant Robots! That's a terrifying face of Sigma. I'm a firing my laser to a whole new level. Oh. Oh boy. Yeah, that's not gonna work on him. Everything belongs to me. 
Sigma Sigma got just became Ultron's new friend. <laughs> All right. Despite Sigma's yeah, deviousness and wrong. ferocity, he was fairly outclassed by Ultron's talents. Sigma could scale to the general who took a face full of 63 sextillion tons of TNT, but Ultron can withstand hits from Thor and his hammer, and we all know how awesome that thing is. When Thor fought Gore the God Butcher, their yeah. created shockwaves Gore the God Butcher shattered planets thousands of miles insane. away. This could it's only um be possible with the a first Nick Fury, the, the Caucasian white man Nick Fury, whispered to Thor saying Gore was than anything Gore was right. That and made Thor lose his hammer and was unworthy Thor is at a really until Thor got his new hammer back since the Gene Foster's so death. In terms of speed, Ultron flew across the galaxy in several months. Some of the signal numbers may scale to that, but Ultron has the speed of light. Overpowered. That's leagues faster than Sigma. Even if we scale him to Duo, who is 114 times like Vision light. and Wonder Man, and who claimed that Ultron C can hit harder than a bit capricious, As Duo didn't use his full potential in their fight. That is true. Even with all that, it really didn't matter who could punch harder or move faster. I can't read the little descriptions the on the top because they explain the why. And the Sigma virus. Right, and while infection and possession was kind of the Sigma virus's thing, Ultron's AI was far more advanced. Recall yes. how he enslaved an entire techno-organic race to the point where he used them to conquer an empire spanning a whole satellite galaxy. That is yeah, true. The Felix are like Marvel's version of the Borg. Hell, that means Ultron basically sigma a whole race of sigmas. It also helps yeah. that Ultron is as smart or smarter than Hank, the scientist supreme. Who happens to be Hank's a bit smarter than and he's Mr. Smarter Fantastic and infinitely Tony Stark. Mansion in a higher dimension of existence. Hank Pym. Sigma was certainly a ruthless schemer, but no And Dr. Doom. The only time Ultron was oh, ever yeah. defeated by a virus was one specifically designed to bypass his defenses and leave him vulnerable to attack from the future and a bunch of other complicated stuff. Sigma was a tenacious one, but Ultron was the stronger android, the tougher villain, and the deadlier virus. It wasn't long before Ultron assimilated him. The winner is yeah. Ultron. Congratulations, Ultron. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want the battle track from that fight, you can click the link down below and get it off iTunes. All and right. We still have a few limited edition 100 episode posters left, so if you guys want to pick one up, just click that box right over there. All right. Who's next? Roshi? Jiraiya? All right. Well, Roshi and Jiraiya are going to be fighting for the next death battle. I'm excited for that. I cannot wait for that death battle to come out until next Wednesdays. Anywho, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this death battle. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. What were your thoughts on this death battle? Did you enjoy it? And who do you think is going to win the next one? And what were your, what were your thoughts on Ultron versus Sigma? Do you think they, do you think Sigma should have won or Ultron should remain the victor? Like, like comment, subscribe on the on the channel below. And take care, have a great day, be safe, and most importantly, stay frosty everyone.